Skilled Huntsman by the Brothers Grimm. There once was a young man. He was the son of a blacksmith, but he had a desire to be a huntsman. He went to his father and said he wanted to leave, so his father gave him some money. So the young man set out to seek the huntsman. He searched high and low until finally he found the huntsman. The huntsman agreed to teach the young man to be a skilled hunter. The boy quickly grew fond of hunting with a bow, but he was not very good at the beginning. But the boy practiced and practiced until he was very skilled at archery. The young man decided that he wanted to go off on his own to hunt, so the huntsman gave him a new bow. But the bow was not an ordinary bow. When used for good, it would never miss. The young man was very happy with his new skills and his bow, so he set off in a search of adventure. On and on he traveled until he came to a faraway land. The trees seemed to grow taller in this forest. The young man would rest under the trees when he grew tired. One day, when he was resting, the boy suddenly awoke to some strange sounds off in the distance. The young man decided to find out what creature was making such a noise. The huntsman decided to get closer to hear what these men were talking about. The giants were talking about how they needed a great hunter to help them. The three men told him about a princess locked away in a hut and asked if the huntsman would go and get her for them. The young hunter said he would happily do it for them, and so off he went. The young man walked until he came to a building. He waited outside and then went into the small house. The young man entered the house and saw sitting on the table was a great sword. The young man took the sword with him as he left in search of the princess. When he found the princess, he realized she was not being held captive and was not in need of rescue. The princess was very beautiful. So the young man decided that the three men must have been kidnappers. The young man found and captured the three large men and turned them over to the castle guards without anyone knowing. But someone else took credit for the capture of the would-be kidnappers. The king arranged a marriage between the princess and the fake rescuer. The princess didn't want to marry the man, though, so she left home. She ran away into the woods. The king was very sad that the princess ran away, but he hoped he would see her again. The young man was hunting one day when he came across the princess cooking some food in the woods. They talked, but the young man didn't recognize her. The princess told the young man how she ran away because she was going to be forced to marry. Then she noticed her father's lost sword in the young man's belt. She asked where he got her father's sword. The young man asked if she was the princess. Then he told her how he had come to capture her, but instead saved her. The princess became very excited and said they had to tell her father. The princess and the young man told her father the story of how the young man had saved her from the kidnappers. The king was very happy to hear this, but then he remembered the man who had lied. The king ordered that the liar be thrown in prison. The huntsman married the princess and they lived happily ever after.